uh, what's it been like? How, how would you assess it? And everybody, cuts, everybody we talk to says depth, and you have more of it. We have a lot of depth. We have a lot of depth, and um, now it's a matter of, and we've put a lot of defense in, like a lot of defense. So guys are still not playing as fast as they're going to play, but we'll start toning it down and game planning it and all that stuff. But we, we do have a lot of good players, a lot of good players. What, what can you, uh, obviously, it's, it's pretty obvious, I think, but you can do more with more depth. But yes. you can put more in. You've, you've got more experience, well, too, first, don't you? the reality is, is, okay, without depth, it shows up at the end of seasons, right? It's kind of showed up to me in the middle of our defense last year with the linebackers and the safeties. Okay. But the second way it shows up is if you're going to really win the championship, like Alabama all those years, and you're going to have your best players on special teams, your best players. So uh, I witnessed that playing against them uh, multiple times. So uh, that, that's a couple ways that the depth shows up. Are you going to do that this year? Do what? Best players on special teams? I hope so. I hope so. I don't make those calls. But I, I really do hope we do because you get an edge. You get an edge. You know what I'm saying? It, there's a such thing as field position. It, it affects game. So I, I imagine Coach will allow us to do that. Do you think you, – you guys started strong, didn't finish great against Kentucky and Southern Cal. Were injuries or worn down? or what, what uh, I felt uh, coaching was a part of it. I felt, uh, you know, I would say this. I don't think we coached our best game against Kentucky or Southern Cal. No, I think we played well for a half, and then I think we kind of got rattled around the kickoff return hurts a little bit, and we didn't really choke them out as well as we had. Uh, so I think we can coach better, to be honest. Rom also mentioned that the coaching did play a part in that kind of three games at the end of the season. What kind of lessons did you guys, as a coaching staff, kind of draw from that end of the season? You got to continue to evolve. You know, when they have that much data, when the opponents have that much data against you, you must continue to evolve. I, I really felt like, oh, Kentucky, we made some mental errors in the game, uh, but I felt like SC, we didn't have enough focus. We didn't coach. As, I didn't coach as well as I needed to. I didn't put the players in the positions they needed to be in, and that was the fact. Do you right. think the depth is in the position where you can be able to withstand some of those late season injuries and nicks and bruises and all that? Well, I think we'll be fine that way. I just, I'm just i talking about us. I'm talking about me. I'm talking yeah. about putting a scheme together where they're still off balance. It's most of the year they were. Have Ron, you done anything in the off season to improve yourself as a coach? Anything out of the ordinary? Study, I st well, I've, I've visited a lot of people. Really? I've visited a lot where of people. Uh, I, well, I went to see Phil Snow, who's coordinator at uh, – Carolina for a few years there. I went to Navy and clinic with those guys who were actually on defense, visiting those guys there. So so I, I just went around. You know, if you can get one or two things, it's good for you. Ron, when you have the... Guys to, to, to play basketball, their aptitude. Their aptitude has been awesome. I mean, we, run all, we got a lot of defense here, as much as anywhere I've been, and we're still going to put a few more things in. Their aptitude has been really, really good in terms of understanding what we're asking them to do and doing it. Ron, when you look at depth and you talk about it in the secondary, that's going to help, is it not? Last year there were times when it seemed like guys were maybe out there a little too long, you didn't have the rest. Is that different this year? I'll give an example. We played Miami, Jarvis goes out. Now we don't have a true nickel. They got that number seven. And, you know, we really couldn't match up with that number seven when we wanted to play some man stuff and stuff like that. So. Uh, just rolling guys and then you know the other thing we still do is we cross train guys mm -hmm. so if, uh, this guy goes down this guy goes in this other guy goes in and we're good to go Ron, it, how has MJ looked being back uh, you know sometimes he plays inexperienced um, because to be honest we do a, it's a lot of football here I mean we pride ourselves on this is like a pro style system so sometimes he's a little inexperienced in that but what sticks out, first off, he makes plays. He's going to make plays. He plays hard. He strains. So he's got a great attitude. He wants to be really good. And I can coach him as hard as I want to coach him. So uh, it's just good to have him back. And again, like I mentioned before, before he got hurt, I thought he would be the best set, uh, guy in the secondary. Sometimes, a sometimes when a guy goes down, it's the mental. He Correct. has to get over the mental Correct. hurdle. Do you feel like he's already done that? Uh, has to be determined. You know, you know how it is out here. Uh, maybe you don't make a play, and now you got to deal with a little insecurity there. You got to deal with a little self doubt there. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, but I, I fully expect him to to do his thing. What's is the company? Matter of knocking off the rust after not playing for a year. I think so. I think that's part of it. But it's more than that. It's a lot of stuff we're doing. He's never been exposed to. These other guys have. They've been here. A year, like a guy like T Mac, 
who played in the Saban system. So I coached in that system, right? Well, he's been exposed to as much defense as you can run. So for him to come here, it's kind of not a big deal because he can connect the dots. But let's say you're a guy who hasn't been exposed to that, and now you come here, a little different. T-Mac said he's kind of trying to become more of a leader, or yeah. has been, and he yeah. said you guys have been. What have you seen from him? And, and he said he's kind of adjusting a little bit to playing back a little bit more in the free oh, yeah. safety spot. What have you seen from well, him? Well, he's such a good person. The guy's a good man. Uh, he cares about the players. He cares about helping the players. He doesn't come across as arrogant or pompous or any of that. Uh, he's smart. He's been exposed to a lot of football. So I just encouraged him even a month ago, hey, look, man, your play is going to dictate them listening to you. So just be a leader. You know how to lead. Lead. I think he's done a great job. What's the competition in the back end like for you right now? I got to make sure they get the reps. I'm serious. I got it's. I don't say starter, but hey, I got to make sure they get the reps. So, for example, last scrimmage, one guy got 45, the other guy got 41. I got to make sure these guys get the reps. How many do you feel comfortable with in the in, in the safety spots? Well, I feel comfortable with four corners and one, two, three, four, and six inside guys. At two nickels. Oh, I feel good at both safeties position, too deep, and the starter too deep. And the corners are too legit too deep. Like where you're saying, I got to give these guys reps. How different is that from if we would have been talking to you this time last well, year? Well, you know, that we wasn't like that. But I will say this: the last time I had this much depth was Michigan. 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 Which we, year was that? Uh, oh three. Oh three. We played eight deep in whole game against Purdue and eight legitimate guys. Are your linebackers maybe that was the? I think people thought, okay, how are they going to be? So far in fall camp, are they a little better than maybe even you all? Same thing a year ago, right? We didn't know what we had. Uh, we know what we have at the Will and TJ. Mm -hmm. I do like the guys we brought in. Stan Quan's continuing to grow. Um, TJ Capers is doing great. He's doing great. And I'm happy for him. I'm, ha I'm so happy for him. He could have folded up, but he didn't. Um, so we still got to keep growing. Still got to keep getting better. What about across the line? I like the D-line. I like the D-line. They're deep and, I mean, my gosh. We got a couple pieces here that is, is I like the D-line. They're deep. We have some edge rushers. You know, to compliment Gelati, D-line is deep. They're deep. I have to ask, man, you say that TJ Capers is doing great. What is he doing now that he wasn't doing when you mentioned at the beginning of spring ball that kind of... Did I tell him that? Yes. First off, we asked the guy to weigh us. If you go, you have a certain weight. He was going opposite the weight we told him. So that's big for us, right? Uh, so it kind of starts there. It's like, okay, we told you to do this. Why are you not doing this? It's kind of like a kid, okay? Do A, then do B, then do C. But if you can't do A, it's going to be hard to do B. 